the Half-Blood Prince. So what are your thoughts on the, the sixth movie in the series, Half-Blood Prince? This one was okay. Probably wasn't as big of one of my favorites, but that potion book that Harry finds, I think that that just starts him getting into more of a greedy because he realizes how powerful he is. I think it starts getting to his head and he uses those spells and people are like, what is that? And he upstages Hermione, which is unheard of yeah. because she's like the know-it-all. And I think that him just using that, I think it just gets to his head a little bit and that he tries to use it on Snape, which obviously mm. Snape knows all of them because yeah. he is that person, which mm. makes sense because he's half good, half evil. He works for both sides. Mm. Obviously, in the end, he kind of dies working for both sides still. Mm. He doesn't really pick one or the other, which is yeah. his downfall. But yeah, that one, it was okay. It wasn't mm. my favorite one, mm. but I think it definitely keeps going with the story of the like, more clues and more. Now they figure out, okay, Snape can't be trusted. Like we were thought we could trust him. Mm. So they're really learning and obviously it brings it to like the last book as well So it kind of just builds up that mm -hmm. tension a little bit for sure Yeah, this is definitely more of like a transitional movie in the series because like J.K. Rowling was getting towards the end She was like, oh, this has to be seven books I have to figure out something for five and six in order to lead up to seven But what I really like about the sixth one, yeah, like you said It really does kind of build in the clues gives more backstory to Voldemort who beforehand was Tom Riddle and The fact that he was a half-blood just like Harry his father was was a muggle and then his mother was a witch and it's revealed more in the books but at least in the movies it just kind of shows him that he had like a really bad childhood he was in an orphanage Dumbledore came and kind of took him out of that orphanage and brought him to Hogwarts and then Tom Riddle kind of rose up to prominence as like you know the greatest student and he wanted to kind of figure out more things that he can do to become more powerful and he eventually found out about these things called horcruxes which become a lot bigger elements in the next one it also turns out that Tom Riddle's diary that Harry destroyed was also a horcrux so if one was down. And a horcrux is an object that you put a piece of your soul in. So if your body dies, your soul can live on through these little pieces of magic. So Voldemort was trying to make seven of them. So he talked to this professor named Professor Horace Slughorn to find out the secret. And that's kind of revealed within the memories that Harry and Dumbledore kind of look through Tom Riddle's memories. And they figure out that Horace Slughorn gave Tom Riddle the secret to how to make a horcrux. So the whole plot of Half-Blood Prince is trying to divulge his memory because Slughorn kind of tampered with his memory in a way to kind of kind of skirt around the issue, but then Slughorn kind of gave them the memory. They found out the secret of Tom Riddle trying to make a Horcrux. And then from that movie onward, it's kind of like the hunt for the Horcruxes. It could have been subtitled as, so Harry and Dumbledore go to this like underground cliffside and find the locket, but then it's revealed that's a fake. And then Harry, Ron, and Hermione have to figure out, okay, we need to find the real one and then find the rest of the Horcruxes.